I am also in Azimio. And this certificate here is not only for Bahati. This certificate represents many other youths. This is a sign of hope. I respect to my president and I respect Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. But please, give the youth of this country a chance. I know there is zoning and Madare has been zoned as an ODM area. But for this one time, give the youth of this country a chance. Give the people of Madare a chance to get the leader they have always wanted. I, I want to state that in a very humble way that, you know, Mr. President, my party leader, Uhuru Mwegai Kinyata, to the fifth, Raila Amolo Odinga, I will not lie to you. These people of Madare have suffered for so long. I did not come to politics because I wanted a job. I already had one. But these people of Madare want someone that can understand their problems, someone that comes from them. Hadisai Imyanka. Kuna mama yangu madhara ya kumali ya na choo. Adisa hii mwaka, kuna mama yangu mahali madhara ya na afukungo jejuni ndi wende kwa choo. Because hakuna choo enough in madhara. There are slums and areas in madhara where they don't even know if they have a member of parliament. You know so well, I am a loyal member of the Jubilee Party. I, I campaigned for the president in 2017. I did over 555 stops around the country. Mr. President and the party officials in Jubilee, even the ones that left, know my loyalty to you. To the fifth, Raila Amolo Odinga, I am the only urban artist in this country that officially stood up and endorsed you. I even did a song. Without a pay. That shows how I'm supporting the Azimio vision. Please do not kill the hearts of the youth in Azimio. Do not kill the hearts of the youth in Madare. I request you, I call upon you to intervene. And in a humble way, I say no, I am not returning and I am not recalling my certificate. And I will be on the ballot on the 9th of August, 2022. And I believe, I strongly believe that I am the next member of parliament in Madari constituency. 
for this one. For this one, you have to understand. I cannot step down for someone that has not helped my people. I cannot step down for someone that has used Madare to benefit himself. I will not step down for someone that does not understand the problem of my people. No, I will not. You mean Ashanga? If this is bad, and you become this unfair to me, will there be any other youth vying in the new future? I, I believe there's a new coalition believes and and really treasures the youth of this. Kiri amali nianzi e kwanza sante ni sana kokuja and uh, I'm happy to see you and thank you so much for coming in large numbers. Amalila <laughs> kuset. Uh, my name uh, is Kevin Bahati Kiyoko. I went to Nijokama Bahati. And uh, I'm a musician, an award winning musician, uh, a father, a husband, and uh, I can call myself the face and a role model to many youths around the country. Kabla nianze, also ningependa kuchukua opportunity just to, you know, to state that I am a loyal supporter and uh, a loyal youth to the president of this country, Huru Mugai Kinyata, and also I'm a loyal supporter of his Excellency Raila Molo Odinga the fifth. And lastly, a loyal supporter of the Azimio coalition. And as most of you know, uh, I've been an aspirant and I am an aspirant in Madare constituency. And I went through the nominations process, uh, which has been happening for the last one month. And in Madare, I was competing in the Jubilee Party against uh, four other aspirants. And I followed the process. 
I did everything as per the constitution and the IBC uh, regulations. And Jubilee awarded me a nomination certificate, uh, which I also carried with me here. Yeah, this is the the, the the nomination certificate that I was awarded. Uh, to me by the director of elections in Jubilee Party, Honorable Kanini Kega. Yeah. Uh, certificate of nomination to, <coughs> to certify that Kevin Bahati Kyoko, the ID number 2985 uh, Jubilee Party membership, uh, that's my Jubilee Party membership, has been nominated by Jubilee Party as a candidate as member of National Assembly for Madare constituency in Nairobi County. Uh, according to, as uh, suggested by the IBC, it has been signed by the two uh, signatories, uh, the national chairman, Mr. Nelson, and uh, the chairman of Na National Elections Board, Stephen Wandeto. Uh, this is the original certificate that I was awarded. And, uh, you know, the youth of this country were happy, not only in Madare, but even around the country. And um, we started our campaign, you know, immediately. Because for so long, uh, Madare has been, you know, has been looking and hoping and praying for an MP that, you know, is born uh, raised, who has been brought up in Madare, someone that understands the people of Madare. And that's why uh, on this uh, press conference, I, I decided to have two representatives from, from Madare because I'm not a visitor in Madare. Uh, before Kenya knew me, Madare was my first fan base. And uh, I've been working with Madare for so long, you know, doing projects, feeding projects, with a small I earn from the music. And, you know, my mother's here. They sat me down and, and told me they needed a leader that comes from Madare because Madare for so long has not been benefiting uh, from the governance, especially from the member of parliament that is currently in Madare. And even after the celebration, when I got the certificate, uh, for the last 24 hours, uh, it has been one of the hardest, you know, times of my my life because I've been thinking of how I'll put this out, not to look as if I am, you know, I am betraying my fellow youth, and not to look as if I'm betraying the people of Madare that have entrusted me with this opportunity, you know. 
and the people of Madhari are the same, same people that pushed for my nomination because for the last three weeks since I announced as a member of parliament, I have been leading in almost all opinion polls. Not, not only as a, as a candidate in Jubilee, but overall, according to the current opinion polls by Mizani and the current government opinion polls, I've been leading and I've been ahead, even ahead of the sitting MP because he has not served the people. But now, I received a call uh, and I, I, I was called for a meeting. And I, I want to be as open as possible. that I'm being told I need to recall the certificate. Uh, and step down for the sitting MP. Because he is threatened and he feels like if I'm in the ballot, the seat will not go back to ODM. Which I have said no. And I call this press just to talk to, to my president. I also want to talk to, to Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. 